Meanwhile, the Supreme Court declared as unconstitutional the 20 or 2005 joint maritime seismic undertaking deal between the Philippines, China, and Vietnam in the South China Sea. Now, according to the Supreme Court, the deal violated the Constitution by allowing wholly owned foreign companies to explore the country's natural resources. So under the Constitution, the state may enter into co-production, joint venture or production sharing agreements with corporations or associations where at least 60% of capital is Filipino owned for the exploration, development and utilization of the country's natural resources. Respondents of the case argued that the constitutional safeguard was not applicable because the agreement was only for so-called pre-exploration activities. Now, the court shut down this claim and ruled that the oil company's intention to discover petroleum was considered exploration. Attorney Neri Colmenares, who served as the legal counsel against the deal, celebrated the Supreme Court's ruling. However, he expressed worries over possible amendments to the Constitution that may allow such deals to push through. Malaking impact nito para sa susunod na mga presidente kasi dapat uh, sundin ng uh, ibang bansa katulad ng China kung mag-joint exploration sila dito sa West Philippine Sea uh, ang konstitusyon natin. Baka naman ang gagawin dyan uh, nila ay mapalitan ang konstitusyon at tanggalin yung 60-40 requirement. Huwag naman and I'm urging the Filipino people to oppose any move sa Kongreso na palitan ang konstitusyon just to accommodate China. Meanwhile, maritime expert attorney Jay Batong Bakal believes that the Philippines should continue its exploration activities even if it has to do it alone. Batong Bakal says that over 113,000 square kilometers of the area covered in the agreement is located in the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Yun yung subject ng service contract 72 uh, na hawak ngayon ng Felix uh, Energy. So, isa lang yun. No? So, hindi pa nga natin na sasagawa yung full uh, exploration. No? So, malamang mas, mas malaki pa sana yung pwedeng uh, matap sana sa Reed Bank kung matuloy na yung ating uh, exploration activities. And going back to my Bloomberg terminal here, you can see the mining and oil counter, of course, feeling very, very shaky at the moment. Um, just for a refresher, you know, when that deal was signed between uh, Shanghai and uh, Beijing, rather, and the Philippines or Manila, um, of course, uh, with uh, President Bongbong Marcos, there was quite uh, a rally in anticipation of at least an exploration deal on that. But of course, the court ruled, you know, against this. This is according to Nikki Franco, which is at Ab because securities and because of this you can see quite the slump since yesterday um, PXP energy yesterday slumped nearly 12% and if you take a look at how that is continuing it's even further below this morning in the past five days it's already lost around 13.3% in value you've also got oriental petroleum that dropped more than 9% uh, yesterday not part of this counter but nevertheless uh, you know quite some pain here Atok big wedge also has some exposure over in um, the Sampaguita gas field that fell one and a half percent so again whether uh, you know this will have some uh, uh, resolution to, to this issue or whether the exploration will not be pushing through at least a uh, joint uh, exploration deal uh, is still of course up in the air and we will be uh, checking in on that story continuously